Hi everyone. In this video, we'll understand how to create the image out of an existing virtual machine. I have already created one virtual machine here with the name of Win Server. Let me check this virtual machine status. There are a few things to remember before going to take this step. Number one thing is that your virtual machine should have the content installed already which you wanted to replicate in remaining uh, further virtual machines which you are supposed to create through this one second thing is that once you are done with the, the image process so you will not longer be use uh, this virtual machine because that would be completely destroyed or unused right okay so uh, my virtual machine name is win server and it is already in a started mode Public IP is 52, 188, 175, and 197 for this demonstration. What I need to do is for your uh, information, I have installed uh, IAS in this virtual machine. If you want to get it checked, we can, otherwise, we can just skip this part and go for creating the image. For this, we have to log in into the virtual machine first. So, let me connect to this virtual machine through RDP. And uh, it will give me one RDP download file. Once I receive it, I'll connect to my virtual machine quickly. This will ask me the username and password is supposed to be used for uh, accessing this virtual machine. I am now in my virtual machine and I you can see IS is already working here. That's fine. So next step is to go to uh, the specific folder, which is C drive, Windows, System32, System32, and we must have one folder called Sys. Sysprep. So go into this. This is the utility which, if we started, we executed, there would be two options. Number one is system checkup uh, cleanup action, which will remain as is, but don't forget to click on this generalize. And the option instead of reboot, I would say is shut down. Once my process is done, it will shut down my uh, virtual machine. Uh, I say OK. Let me re ensure this thing. Once your this process is done, your virtual machine will no longer be useful for any specific purpose. This would be just become an, an uh, closed one. So it can only be used for creating the images. And whatever the work you, you wanted to perform inside the virtual machine cannot be done. So sysprep utility is working in background. It is there are various scripts are written and it is performing all these steps and creating one uh, package for us. Once the utility is successfully done, you see your remote desktop session has been ended. Come back to the virtual machine on the portal. Go to overview part and stop this virtual machine. That is the one step. So my virtual machine is successfully stopped. It is there in the notification. Close it. And next step is to go and click on this capture button. Click on this. It will ask a couple of questions from us. Number one, to give the name of the image. If you wanted to change the name, you are free to do it. I don't want to do it. The resource group, that's fine. Let it be the as is. And uh, uh, there is a virtual machine name. You have to pass exactly the virtual machine name which on which uh, you have created wanted to create the image. Win server. Yeah. And uh, you can copy the Im image name of uh, server name from here as well. So uh, going to create. 
so this is validating and creating the image if you can see in um, the notification bar it is creating the image it may take a couple of seconds i'll get back to you my image is successfully created the notification clearly says your image is successfully created close it now what you have to do is you have to go to the top search bar and say image click on this so it will open another blade for image and because i already have one image here which i just now created so you can select this image and out of these options we have the create vm now you can go and create click on the create vm button so another blade has come create a virtual machine but difference is earlier you were creating the virtual machine with the existing images like ubuntu uh, centos windows but this time we are going to create a virtual machine with our own uh, generalized image so here the subscription is already selected my resource group is already selected if you wanted to change the resource group that is up to you i don't want so virtual machine name you can give give my test vm okay name is available and uh, i don't want to change any other specific options other than look and notice this image here my image name is appearing but that is what my purpose is so rest of the things i am not going to change i can give the username and password okay and uh, reconfirming the password right i don't want to apply any inbound rule on anything and just one thing to be noticed here i am just allowing http so that i can access the is uh, running on my virtual machine through this image directly and uh, review and create i am not going to discuss about any other things let it be as is so one thing is very clearly mentioned the earlier uh, windows server virtual machine will no longer be used for general purpose second thing is that when you are going to create any virtual machine you have to have uh, various other resources which will spin up in the background like uh, disk vnet public ip and couple of others so it is going to create my virtual machine it may take couple of seconds the process has started and your deployment is underway deployment is completed and uh, i can go to resource click on this now i am in the blade of my own test machine there is the public ip address is given to me let me check copy this and uh, open another instance of browser uh, let's see i can directly access the virtual machines as which is installed there directly it means my my virtual machine which is created through the custom image is successfully working in the similar way you can create various number of virtual machines uh, and you can get absolutely the same result you need not to be worried about to create your own machine and uh, install the is in that in each machine so that is my purpose to show you the demonstration in this video so for any questions i would be really happy to help you and you can chase me um here i am available on twitter uh, my twitter handle is at the rate abimetre and i am owning uh, one facebook group facebook group is with the name of as you talk global so you can join this group i'll be happy to help you thank you very much